Did you know that the logo creator can clip and crop images? This little trick was first done by Katie in the Laughing Bird forum. She did this with version 5.0 of the software, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in version six. So why would you wanna split an image? Let's say you have large text on your canvas, and you wanna put maybe a little character here. Go up here and grab a mascot character and drag him down and move him to the back. But he's got too much body on him. So watch this cool trick. I just wanna put him right next to the L. So what I'm going to do is move the text out of the way. Now the logo creator, when you export an image, actually takes a, an exact screenshot of whatever's on the canvas. So if you crop the canvas, over the guy like this, and you export him as a transparent PNG image. We'll call him Split Dude. And then you bring the canvas back. Watch what happens. I'm going to now delete him. Watch what happens when I re-import that image that I've just exported. Import, find Split Dude. And now you'll notice that he's cropped in half. So now I can shrink him, bring my text over. There he is. He cropped right so that he fits right there into the L. You can even be cool and do that <laughs> for whatever you'd want to do it for. This works great for things other than people, of course. You can change the text to something like basketball. And let's bring in a basketball. Here's one, bring it down. It's too big. What if I wanna just crop it so that it goes right by the B here? So I'm going to bring it over here. I'm gonna move the text out of the way temporarily. Drag the canvas to right about here. I'm going to export it. drag the canvas back, delete the big ball, and import our half basketball. And now we can put it right here, shrink it if we want to. It's just a really cool effect. Now this method also works really cool with text too. And let's take the word mycorp, make it big, and let's colorize it. So that it's yellow, let's say. And now we're going to crop out the bottom part of this. And bring it back. And you'll notice it's actually now an image. This is an image. This is text. So the text now I can recolorize to any other color. And because the text here is in the background, I can add an outline. Kind of a cool effect makes it look kind of neat there's all kinds of things you can do with this method you just have to be creative you, you get the idea okay one more thing i want to show you before i leave is how to resize an image without using photoshop or anything else you can use the logo creator let's select a template and let's say we like it, it's perfect, it's great, um, but it's too big for our thumbnail or our avatar or something. So once we've modified it and made it look exactly like we want, we go over and we just export it just like we always do. Okay, and now we can delete everything off of the canvas and bring back the image. You'll notice in the logo creator, I like to export and import quite a bit. Now it's one complete image, whoops, I cropped it. <laughs> Well, anyway, you get the idea. And now we can resize the image to anything we want. So let's say we have an avatar that has to be 255 by 255. So we can set the canvas to the exact size we need. 
255 by 255 and I get tired of dragging this around so I go to the format canvas button and I type in my parameters 255 I hit the tab key 255 and now my canvas my square is exactly 255 by 255 and now my logo will fit inside if I change it and you know you'll have to play with this I'm doing this very quick for tutorial purposes but there is an image that when I finally export it it will be exactly the size of the canvas so there you go go out and crop resize and modify your logos with the logo creator thanks for watching